Today we're going to show you how to do an outdoor candy corn decoration. What you're going to need is a piece of poster board to draw your candy corn on. Now my candy corn, I did 12 and a half inches high and nine and three fourths inches wide. And I made mine kind of rounded. You could make yours more triangular or you could make it rounded like mine. That's completely up to you. Once you get it drawn out, go ahead and cut it out and then fold it in half. Folding it in half is gonna let you know if it is perfectly symmetrical on both sides. If it's not, go ahead and just trim off any parts that aren't symmetrical so that when you open it back up, it will look perfect and evenly shaped on both sides. Then go ahead and trace your template out onto some plywood. Now what we used was 3 8 inch plywood. So just go ahead and draw that on there. We actually ended up drawing out two of them. And then once you get that all drawn out, then just go ahead and cut off those in a rough cut with your table saw. Now it should be a manageable size to be able to work with easily on your scroll saw. Here what we're going to do is we're going to cut out our candy corn, leaving about an eighth to a fourth of an inch all the way around the perimeter of our candy corn. We're not going to cut right on the line because we'll do that with our sander. We'll take and sand that off, that extra wood off with the sander instead of trying to cut it right on the line. It's just easier and it gives us more control that way. Now on this part, just go ahead and finish cutting off that excess wood. Just remember to use your safety glasses while doing this so you don't get any sawdust or any particles or anything in your eyes. When you're working with any type of blade, never be in too much of a hurry don't get distracted and always use safety and watch where your fingers are. If you need to, just gently blow to get any of your sawdust out of your way. Don't worry if you don't have a scroll saw for this step because you can easily do the step with a jigsaw. Just continue to go ahead and use your jigsaw if that's what you have and keep an eighth to a quarter of an inch around your candy corn drawing as you go. I realize that you may not all have each one of these tools right now. And a tip for acquiring some of those tools for a little bit less money is to check Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or even the auctions in your area. When you're first starting out, remember, use tools are a great way to build up your workshop. You could also do this if you have a belt sander or a hand sander. As long as you got some good sanding paper on it, you can go ahead and do this. You could even do this just by hand, but that would take a little bit longer to do. Go ahead and let the sander finish taking off that last little bit of wood, that extra quarter of an inch to an eighth of an inch till you're right up to the line that you drew from your template. The nice part about doing this is you have a lot of control this way. Plus when you're all done, you have a nice smooth edge. Make sure that you wipe and brush all the sawdust off from your candy corn because the next step you're going to do is to paint your candy corn. Now I paint the whole thing white with two coats of exterior white paint. I use bare exterior white paint and I just used an old paintbrush I had laying around and actually the bare paint I use is years and years old. It's more like cottage cheese in there than it is like paint but I just keep my paint around and I use every little bit of my paint so it doesn't end up in the landfills and I end up getting some neat projects out of it even if it does get kind of thick and chunky. I mean, this paint is probably a good 10 years old. I mean, it's really old paint. Make sure when you do your coats to do the 
edges as well as both sides twice. Then once it's dry, go ahead and just draw a little curved line about a third of the way down on your candy corn from the top. And then about a quarter of the way up from the bottom, draw a little bit more of a curved line. If you're gonna make more than one candy corn, what I would suggest is putting one on top of the other and making little marks where you put your lines for your first one on top of your second one then. That way, once you paint them all, they'll all look uniform. We're going to use Apple Barrels Golden Yellow for the yellow part, and we're gonna use Apple Barrels Harvest Orange for the middle part. I got both of those paints at Walmart. Now, when you're doing the yellow, just Put your brush right on the line and what I like to do is go right to the edge of the line and just kind of slowly wiggle my brush back and forth to hit right on the line. That way I'm not going too far over and make sure you get the sides and the bottom as well. Now the orange you have to be really careful with because you're going right up to your line that you drew and you're not going to redo the white. So the white and the orange where they come together, that is your final coat. So you want to be real careful with that part and just go ahead and paint that all the way across. Now where the orange and the yellow meet, go ahead and you can go right across there painting. I Again, I just kind of wiggle my brush to get right up to the edge without going too far into the orange or too far into the yellow part, I mean. But that's not as important because we're going to go ahead and mix the yellow and the orange together and go ahead and just dab that right across that line where the orange and the yellow come together. And you can see the one that's on the table where it's already blended. Next, for the steak, we just use a furring strip. We just measure to 16 inches. Cut that. And then at the other end of it, we just do a couple angle cuts so that the end of our steak is pointed and it just goes down into the ground easier. Give the top of that a quick little sand so we don't get any splinters. And then we go ahead and drill a couple holes about an inch apart. And we use a countersink bit to just drill down a little bit. So when we put the screw in there, it will just go down into the wood a little bit. And if you have to, go ahead and drill that again. We probably could have used a little bit bigger bit right there. but And then on the back, we found the exact center by measuring across the bottom and we drew a line and then we use a little bit of Gorilla Glue and we just lined that line and then we'll go ahead and put our furring strip right on top of that. We'll use a little clamp to hold that down while we go ahead and screw our screws in. Once you get both of your screws screwed in there, you can just unclamp it. And now we're almost done. Next step is we're going to use some Rust-Oleums in the clear matte finish. And we're going to take our candy corn outside and starting off from our candy corn, we're going to spray the sealant on, making sure we totally cover all parts of our candy corn, especially the orange and the yellow where we painted with the acrylic paint. It's better to give it thin coats than to give it one really heavy coat. This is a great, quick, fun little project that you can do with someone that doesn't take a long time. And together, it gives us something to do that we both enjoy doing something that looks good in our front yard and that the kids in the neighborhood can enjoy come this fall season and come Halloween time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
And if you want to see more like this, hit the subscribe and the bell next to it so you'll see our next video.